Hey guys, before we start today's video, I just want to let you know that my microgreens course is now open for registration. You can sign up anytime this week up until the 10th at midnight in which it closes. So the course runs five weeks starting on March 11th and there's a webinar at the beginning of each week for the course. But the course you have access to forever and you can jump forward on things just like you could with any of the other online courses I do. It's just that each week I will be live in the course answering members' questions. And if you're curious about the course or you want to learn something about microgreens, show up tonight right here on YouTube at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be doing, I'll be talking about microgreens and you know what it takes to get started and what are the kind of customers you're selling to. And I'll be answering people's questions. So if you're curious about any of that stuff or the course, show up tonight right here on YouTube at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, guys, hope to see you there. Hey guys, I'm at Steadfast Farm in Mesa, Arizona, and I'm sitting next to a main line in for the whole irrigation system here at Steadfast. Now, Steadfast is an urban farm, so they've got urban municipal water coming in so that probably has a bit of chlorine in it and um, this system basically runs all the water for the whole farm but what we're specifically going to talk about today in this video is the fertigation system that is set up to this main line now for those of you who aren't familiar with fertigation it's essentially a way of fertilizing the land through your irrigation system and uh, for this one you could put all kinds of things through this. Eric is gonna uh, specifically speak to how they use fish emulsion as a nitrogen-based fertilizer in it. And this irrigation system here is a hybrid of drip and overhead via wobblers. So for the most part, they're gonna be fertigating with a fish emulsion through the drip. But you could apply other types of stuff through this and do it overhead, but you probably wouldn't want fish emulsion on your lettuce. So I'll let Eric talk about the rest. All right, so we're talking about our fertigation system. We've got our main water line coming in. We're on city water here, which isn't necessarily ideal, but it's what we have to work with, so that's what we do. Um, two inch pipe comes off that main line up in a riser. We have a ball valve for a shutoff if we need to do any maintenance on the system. We've got two quick connect cup couplers that we can screw off to remove our pump and our fertigation system. Uh, this is just a sediment filter that's gonna uh, catch any particulates. We put uh, two gauges on, we have one pre-filter, one post-filter. That's going to, if we start to see a difference between those two pressures, we know that the filter is starting to get clogged and we should clean it. Um, Past that, it's gonna go into the fertigation uh, unit, which this is a Mazzy unit. This is the 584 two inch. Um, they have several sizes um, and a couple different manufacturers, I believe that um, sell them. This is from Rainflow. Um, so it's essentially, uh, we've used a lot of different fertigation systems. I like these the best because there's no moving parts. Um, water comes down, we have a PVB or backflow valve, so no fertigation water goes back into the main system. Um, we can divert that water using this gate valve. So instead of it going straight through this two inch, some of the water goes through here. Um, it hits this venturi uh, and creates basically negative pressure and then it's in suction. And then this line is in our five gallon bucket that we're fertigating out of with whatever we're amending with. And that's gonna to start to draw that liquid in. Then we'll start to see this gauge rise up. We use this valve to adjust how much is going through and uh, change that pressure or that volume rather. Um, and so we, we like to sit right around about 10 gallons per hour is the flow we're gonna to go to. Um, and that's gonna pull through and then back into the system. So very, very simple. Um, they make little rebuild kits for some of the, the little uh, springs and the little gaskets and that, but really there's no, no moving parts uh, like some of these pneumatic pumps and that to worry about. So super easy. Um, yeah, that's it. How much, so this only works with 
drip irrigation, right? Uh, no, you could use it with your uh, wobblers as well. Oh, yeah. You so we've uh, used some foliar um, calcium, for example, and we wanted to hit the plants with that too, um, a liquid form of calcium that we get. And so, um, yeah, you could use this through the, the wobblers as well. I guess it's well. probably as far as fertilization goes, opposed to mineralization or something that you wanted to apply to the foliage, it's probably more effective to have it on drip because then it goes right under the soil, right? Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there's reasons to do foliar applications as well, but when you're dealing with different uh, organic fertilizers, like, like let's say a fish product, um, they tend to be high in oils and that's not really what you want to have on your, your foliage because then the sun can uh, cause that to burn. And right. so we don't do any of that sort of thing. So that's all through drip. Right. And if you're using a, a, a fish emulsion or something like that, what's the percentage, like what's the ratio that you're mixing emulsion to water? Sure. And, and, and just speak to that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and we push a lot of things through here. It might be fulvic acid. Um, it could be kelp, lots of different things, but speaking to fish uh, specifically, and we do about a, a fish application about once a month, um, and that's typically gonna be two to four gallons per acre is what we're trying to get through. And if, if it's a, you know, let's say that two gallon mark, we might even fill up the bucket of water uh, with water the rest of the way just to dilute it, because it is thick. This will pull it through, we just want it to you know be nice and diluted and we're gonna push it all the way through so we know the same amounts gonna hit the plants regardless mm -hmm. so we're not so worried about that so all right. cool all right thanks Eric yeah hey guys if you liked that video make sure to follow steadfast farm I've got their links right here in the video and I've also done many other videos with Eric Schultz at steadfast so just use the search in the YouTube channel to find them and if you're looking for more long-form content Check out my website fromthefield.farm. Now this is a members website only, and I op only open it four times a year. So right now the membership is closed, but it opens back up on April 5th. And I would urge anybody who wants to check out longer form and super detailed content that I do to join me there. I'm still posting to YouTube, but you will notice that I'm not posting quite as much. In fact, I'm pretty much putting about 99% of my content creating efforts into this website it's a different type of platform it's very different than youtube in the sense that there's no kind of trolls that just show up and say dumb things in the comments it's really all about people who are just interested in this kind of information and so it's a really cool community we have a forum where people are having all kinds of conversations and trading tips and tricks on all kinds of things and I am 100% user backed. So all the people that are members in this site are the ones that are paying for the content. So it's not about advertisers or revenue from YouTube. It's totally about the members. And I take every single thing that the users suggest and I make videos about these things constantly. I had uh, a number of users ask for some content about marketing so I went and put together like over a seven part series on marketing going through all the different types of market streams and I made fairly long videos for each of those so it's a different kind of format it's almost like where an online course meets something like YouTube the videos I post are all very long they're all around an hour long each week I post one and just from using the site and letting the members kind of tell me what they're looking for it's led to all kinds of different things so I'm posting an audio version of the featured video each week I also do these Q&A videos almost every week where I basically just take everybody's questions that are directed towards me and I publish them into a video that's sometimes over an hour long and I also make subject videos, so I'll make little snippets of the longer form videos and make them, you know, one or two minutes that are basically getting right to the point about something specific. And this is kind of where I'm going. I'm, I'm traveling all over the U.S. and Canada this summer to make videos for From the Field. And I'll continue to make videos for YouTube. They'll often be the shorter form edits. So... Um, I'm visiting a bunch of different farms this year and they'll be, be up on YouTube. You know, I want to promote those people and get people um, to whatever there is they're doing. But I want to save the longer form content for From the Field because these kinds of things don't really track that well on YouTube. And on this website, it's just a better community because people are sharing 
information and you know what they post specifically about the content so there's no people just showing up to say dumb things about whatever which is what you have what you often have on youtube no offense to youtube and i'm happy to keep posting here but but uh, i am going to be putting more of my longer form stuff in from the field so if you want to join us we've got over 2,000 members in there now just head over to from the field dot farm and go to the sign up button just below and sign up to get on the waiting list so that Right on April 5th, I'm going to send you a notification of when we open up to get you in there. So hope to see some of you guys in there. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.